The Biography of Pablo Picasso Pablo Picasso, born as Pablo Diego José Francisco de Paula Juan Nepomuceno María de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Ruiz y Picasso, is one of the most prominent figures in the history of 20th century art. Known worldwide as one of the pioneers of Cubism, his vast body of work encompasses over 20,000 creations, including paintings, sculptures, and ceramics. His innovative artistic explorations and ability to work in multiple styles have left an indelible mark on contemporary art, highlighted by iconic works such as Guernica and Les Demoiselles de Vignon, which have profoundly influenced the direction of modern art. Childhood and Education Origin Pablo Picasso was born on October 25, 1881, in Malaga, Spain into a family dedicated to the world of art. His father, José Ruiz Blasco, was an art teacher and painter, specializing in the realism of birds and other animals. Picasso's mother, Maria Picasso López, came from a family of Italian origin. From a very young age, Picasso showed a natural talent for drawing, a talent that was encouraged by his father, who would also be his first teacher in the arts. Picasso was the eldest child of the family and had two younger sisters, Lola and Conchita. The early death of Conchita due to diphtheria deeply affected Picasso, an event that some critics have pointed out as an influence on his later depictions of suffering and tragedy. Early Education The artistic environment and the support of his family played a crucial role in the early development of Picasso's skills. At the age of seven, he began to receive formal drawing lessons from his father, who was amazed by his son's precocity and technique. At the age of nine, Picasso completed his first painting, Le Picador, which depicts a young boy riding a horse in a bullfight, demonstrating not only his skill but also his fascination with the surrounding Spanish culture. The Picasso family moved to La Coruña in 1891, where José Ruiz obtained a position as a teacher at the School of Fine Arts. There, Pablo attended classes and refined his technique in drawing and painting. His progress was so impressive that, by the age of 13, his works began to surpass in quality those of his father. This early artistic mastery is indicative of Picasso's dedication and immense natural talent, laying the groundwork for his later revolutionary career in the world of art. Trajectory and Achievements Early Career the artistic career of Pablo Picasso can be divided into several phases, each marked by different influences, styles, and techniques. At the end of the 19th century, when he was just a teenager, Picasso already exhibited an extraordinary ability that surpassed many of his contemporaries. After his brief time at the San Fernando Academy in Madrid, he moved to Barcelona, where he immersed himself in the city's flourishing art scene. In Barcelona, Picasso began to forge his artistic identity, influenced by Catalan modernism and his encounters with artists, critics, and writers. At the beginning of the 20th century, Picasso moved to Paris, the world's art epicenter at the time. There, he plunged into the bohemian atmosphere of Montmartre and Montparnasse, befriending a series of influential figures such as Georges Braque, with whom he would later co-found the Cubist movement. Career Development Cubism, conceived by Picasso and Braque, radically broke with traditional perspective, introducing a form of art in which objects are broken down, analyzed, and reorganized into abstract geometric figures. This phase of his work changed the course of contemporary art and influenced the development of other modernist movements. In addition to Cubism, Picasso experimented with various styles and media throughout his life, including surrealism and classical art. One of his most famous works, Guernica, 1937, is a powerful testimony of his mastery and political commitment, portraying the bombing of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War. This work stands out not only for its emotional and political impact but also for its innovative composition and execution. Main Achievements Among Picasso's most notable achievements are his fundamental influence on 20th century art, his role in the founding of crucial artistic movements, and his ability to constantly reinvent himself and experiment throughout his career. 
He was prolific in his production, creating over 20,000 works that spanned paintings, sculptures, ceramics, engravings, and drawings. Picasso was recognized and celebrated in his lifetime, which was a rarity for many artists. He received numerous awards and honors, and his work was the subject of significant exhibitions worldwide. His influence extended beyond art, impacting 20th century culture, fashion, and design. Impact and Legacy Specific Contributions Picasso was not only one of the pioneers of Cubism, but he also played a significant role in the development of other movements such as surrealism and abstract art. Through his experiments with form, perspective, and color, he challenged the conventions of portraiture and naturalistic representation, allowing subsequent artists to approach their subjects with unprecedented freedom. His work, Les Demoiselles de Vignan, 1907, is often cited as the catalyst of the Cubist movement, introducing a radical decomposition of the human form that broke with the Renaissance tradition of perspective. Furthermore, Picasso actively explored a wide range of mediums, including ceramics, engraving, stage and costume design for theater and sculpture, thereby expanding the boundaries of what was considered art. This versatility demonstrated his prodigious technical skill and paved the way for contemporary art to transcend traditional painting and sculpture. Legacy Picasso's legacy is multifaceted and endures both in the collections of world-renowned museums and in cultural consciousness. His influence extends beyond art, affecting fashion, graphic design, and advertising, where his aesthetics and techniques continue to be a source of inspiration. Picasso left an indelible mark on 20th century art, serving as a mentor and inspirational figure for countless artists. Entire movements have emerged as a direct response or reaction to his work, demonstrating his central role in the evolution of modern and contemporary art. Institutions and exhibitions dedicated to Picasso, such as the Picasso Museum in Barcelona and the Picasso Museum in Malaga, as well as the vast collections at the National Museum, Reina Sofia Art Center, and the Louvre Museum, attest to the importance and ongoing interest in his work. His ability to convey complex emotions and his political engagement, especially evident in Guernica, resonate today, offering a powerful commentary on war, peace, and the human condition. Personal life. Interests and hobbies. Besides his dedication to art, Picasso had a profound interest in literature, theater, and bullfighting, a reflection of his Spanish roots. These passions influenced his work and connected him with a broader circle of creatives, including writers, poets, and playwrights. Picasso was also interested in sculpture and ceramics, disciplines he explored extensively, allowing him to experiment with three-dimensional forms and textures. Additionally, he was a passionate art collector, amassing throughout his life a vast collection that included both African and Oceanic art as well as works by his contemporaries. Family and Relationships Picasso had several significant relationships that deeply influenced his life and work. With his first serious partner, Fernand Olivier, he experienced love and tragedy, which are reflected in the varied representations of women in his art. Later, his marriage to Olga Koklova, a dancer from the Russian ballet, introduced a period of stability and financial success, but also of conflict and personal discontent which eventually led to the dissolution of their relationship. His relationship with Marie-Thérèse Walter inspired some of his most sensual and vibrant works, while Dora Maar, a photographer and painter, shared with him a commitment to politics and art as a form of activism. Françoise Gallot, the mother of two of his children, Claude and Paloma, was also an artist and writer who influenced Picasso, though their relationship eventually ended. Finally, his marriage to Jacqueline Roque represented his last great love and muse, remaining together until Picasso's death. Challenges and Overcomings Throughout his life, Picasso faced various personal challenges, including managing the complexities of his romantic and family relationships. The Spanish Civil War and World War II had a profound impact on him, directly influencing works like Guernica and leading him to a more explicit commitment to political activism. Picasso also struggled with fame and its implications, 
living under public scrutiny while maintaining his commitment to artistic innovation. Despite these challenges, or perhaps because of them, Picasso never stopped creating, using his art to explore, understand, and sometimes escape from the turbulences of his personal life. Closure. Last years and death. Until the end of his days, Picasso maintained an unwavering pace of work, dedicating himself to painting, ceramics, and sculpture. His late work is often more reflective, marked by a meditation on life, death, and his legacy. Despite facing health problems, his creativity remained unchanged, producing works that challenged conventions and expectations until the very end. In the last years of his life, Pablo Picasso continued to create with an energy that belied his advanced age, exploring new forms of expression and consolidating his legacy as one of the most important figures in the art of the 20th century. He died on April 8, 1973, in Mougin, France, at the age of 91, leaving behind a vast body of work that continues to be the subject of study, admiration, and controversy. Picasso's death marked the end of an era in art. He left behind not only a prolific work, but also a new visual language that had radically transformed contemporary aesthetics. His death was widely mourned in the art world and beyond, recognizing an individual whose genius had reshaped the understanding of form, color, and composition. Final Reflection The life of Pablo Picasso is a testament to the power of art to provoke, question, and excite. Through his numerous creative phases, from the blue and rose periods to cubism and beyond, he demonstrated a unique ability to evolve and reinvent himself. His influence extends beyond his works, having inspired generations of artists to break with tradition and seek their own unique expressions. Picasso changed what the world considered art and played a crucial role in elevating the status of the artist in society. They were no longer simply craftsmen at the service of the aristocracy or the church, but individuals with the power to influence culture and politics through their work and vision. Picasso's legacy continues to live on, not only in the galleries and museums that house his works, but also in the way we continue to see and understand art in the contemporary world. His life and work remain a source of inspiration and controversy, a reminder of art's ability to challenge, transform, and enrich our lives.